shall we? And let's go down to the inquest into the 2017 death of Yorta Yorta woman Tanya Day, which is continuing in Melbourne this week. And as you guys mentioned at the start of the show, it's certainly been a tough week for her family. On Monday, distressing CCTV footage was played from inside her cell, showing the 55-year-old falling and hitting her head five times in a period of just over two hours on the day she was arrested for public drunkenness. Police officers working at the Castlemaine Police Station that evening have been grilled about why they took so long to check on her. Madeleine Heyman reba has been attending the inquest. As the coronial inquest into the death in custody of Auntie Tanya Day continues this week, the court has seen CCTV footage of the five catastrophic falls that Auntie Tanya Day had, resulting in a brain injury. Yesterday, the court heard evidence from Sergeant Edwina Neal, who was in charge the night of the incident. She rejected claims that she was criminally negligent and said that she asked custody supervisor Sergeant Danny Walters to make the 30-minute checks more frequently because Ms Day was Aboriginal and vulnerable in custody. Today, Mr Walters took the stand saying Ms Neal never said that. In a statement provided by attending paramedic Lisa Harrop, she states that Mr Walters said he saw her stand up after falling an hour before calling paramedics. In a recorded phone call to paramedics at 8.05pm, Mr Walters is heard saying that he, quote, seen her slip over an hour ago. But CCTV footage shows Ms Day rolling off the bed onto the floor at 6.39pm and not visibly hitting her head. Questioning of Mr Walters will continue tomorrow. Madeleine Heyman-Reba, NITV News.